Well, I'm, I'm Yossi Leibowitz, a rabbi of the congregation B'nai Israel, and I just so much appreciate the partnership I've been able to have with St. Matthew's Episcopal and my dear friend, Father Rob Brown, who has really helped us walk the walk at this food pantry. Uh, we have in our High Holiday Liturgy reading uh, the Holiness Code of Leviticus. We're supposed to take care of the poor and the widow. And sometimes we just, we say the words, but we don't always put them into action. And so it's just been a joy for my, my folks, my congregation, to be able to come here and to help partner with Rob. We're just an adjunct to it, but it, it's just been such a, a warming of the heart and the soul. And I'm just delighted to be here and to help out. And it's, it's been just wonderful. And we're grateful. To you, to this, to this beautiful church, for allowing us to to do God's work with you. Well, and and we at St. Matthew's, we, we greatly appreciate uh, the presence of uh, of Rabbi Yossi and uh, participation of the synagogue. Um, but there, there's something extra in that, okay? Because it's about presence as much as anything. Um, your being here with us and our and, and I working with, with you and your congregation is really an expression, I think, of what our faith should be about. Uh, mutual respect, uh, working together, um, seeing the needs of the community and responding to them. Um, when the rabbi was talking uh, a little bit ago about Leviticus and the Holiness Codes, uh, we talked earlier about uh, Matthew 25. You know, I was hungry, you gave me something to eat, I was sick. You took care of me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was in prison and you visited me. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. All of those things that Jesus is saying are a restatement, really, of what's already in Leviticus. And, and we as Christians need to acknowledge the mutuality of our faith and the importance of those foundational concepts that we both share. Um, and, and when Yossi talks about the opportunity to, to kind of put... Um, the, the walk into the talk, um, that's really what it should be about with, with all of the things that we proclaim to the larger world. And by working together here in our food pantry, um, we're saying that, that our faith, our mutual faith, with great differences but profound foundational similarities, that we can overcome disunity, that we can overcome the, the divisiveness in our country right now, by simply acknowledging that, that we are a people that are called to be together, despite any differences. And during our high holidays, we remember people who've died. It's called a memorial or Yusker service. And there's a saying in there that the grave levels all distinctions. And I gotta tell you that in these very difficult pandemic times, I think poverty and hunger and need uh, levels all distinctions as well. And I, I'm just, I'm just overwhelmed by the by the goodness of this church and, and your capacity to unasked just to help people. We have a saying in our heritage, a kind of an anecdote. It's not so hard to put your hand in your pocket. It's taking your hand out of your pocket that's difficult. But you've taken your hand out of your pocket. You're givers. And well, that really is wonderful. And this is like a like a mutual appreciation society thing going on. I realize that, but something to keep in mind: um, the, the the folks at the synagogue, as an example, when they honored Yossi recently uh, on the the on the anniversary of, of your being a, a, a rabbi, right? Um, they chose to do that by collecting canned goods and items for the food pantry here and sent over just hundreds and hundreds of cans. And so they chose to honor him by giving generously so the poor of our community could have food. So that tells you something about just the, the, the character of the synagogue and the extraordinary people there and the love they have for, uh, for this guy. Well, we're still putting that to a vote. We're not sure <laughs> how many, but there is occasionally envy that comes up. I mean, for example, he admired my hat that says rabbi, and he was bereft. So there's only one thing I could do, which was to go to Cafe Press on the uh, internet and now he has his own father rob hat. yeah see, it's, this so is in father rob and, very and, important. and, and rabbi very so, important priest and rabbi walk into a food pantry yeah. <laughs>